just like that. Next up, it's time for the electric kettle. We're going to plug the little base plate in, That's click good. that on. Once that boils, it will shut itself off, at which point we'll pour the water into our French press, we'll wait a couple minutes, we'll push the plunger down, and then we'll have some Lake but, Erie coffee. But Craig, before, before we get to that, we should probably mention that the Aria does not have a plug in the back. It does not. USB, AC, anything like that, and there's no onboard inverter. So if you were to operate a 1500 watt kettle, you need... you're going to need some help. A giant battery bank there, which is, we're cheating. I feel like this is cheating, but it, it is in a bit, theory, if you had a, a lightning, cheating. for instance. If you, had, if you had a lightning that has 9.2 kilowatts, Precisely. you could definitely do that. If you had one of the eGMP cars with the V to L adapter that Correct. you can plug in there, that'll do somewhere between 1,500 watts and 3.2 kilowatts, depending on the model.